Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Friday. I'm Father Sam Kachuba. This has been an enormous week celebrating saints in the liturgy of the church. So real quick, here's a recap of all the saints' feast days that we got to celebrate this week. First, we started on Monday with the feast of St. Vincent de Paul. Vincent de Paul is best known for his charitable work for the poor, taking care of those who were suffering and those who had nothing. You might know him from the St. Vincent de Paul societies that have been established all over the world in his honor to serve those who are most in need. We know him also as a great preacher of missions and as one who has established great formation for future clergy so that they could also be good witnesses to the poor. But did you know, and I think this is the part of St. Vincent de Paul's life that doesn't get nearly enough press time, did you know St. Vincent de Paul was once captured by Barbary pirates and sold into slavery, and he was bought by a former priest who had converted to Islam and was living in the mountains with three wives. When Vincent de Paul got there, he converted one of the wives, and then they converted the husband, the ex-priest, and they dragged him back to France and escaped from slavery, escaped from all this craziness. Vincent de Paul went right back to work, went right back to proclaiming the gospel, went right back to serving the poor. I love Vincent de Paul. Okay, then we went to the feast of St. Wenceslas. Wenceslas was the king of Bohemia. You might recognize his name from the Christmas carol, Good King Wenceslas. He was known for his charity to his subjects and for being willing to serve them in whatever their need might be. Jealous of his power and jealous of his virtue, jealous of his good leadership, his brother Boleslas killed him right after he had gone to Mass. Wenceslas is an amazing saint. Then we went to the Feast of the Archangels, St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and St. Michael. We know the St. Michael prayer that we say after every single Mass here in the Diocese of Bridgeport. Michael is that great heavenly overseer sent to protect and guide us. St. Gabriel is that great messenger of God who goes to proclaim the good news of what's going to happen next, especially the good news of the Incarnation. St. Raphael, we know from the Old Testament, brings God's healing power to people who are in need. And so when we look to the archangels, we look to these great heavenly hosts who are sent to protect and guide God's holy people. Then from there, we went to the feast of St. Jerome, Jerome the great translator of sacred scripture. He translated scripture from Hebrew and Greek into Latin. And so the definitive text of scripture translated into a language that could be understood more broadly throughout the entire world was translated from St. Jerome. Jerome tells us ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ, and so as we celebrated his feast, we were reminded of how important it is for us to crack open the word of God and read and dive into those sacred mysteries. And then today we celebrate the feast of St. Therese of Lisieux, the little flower, a great doctor of the church who, though she died at a very young age, living in a Carmelite convent in a small place in France, has since affected the entire world with her writings, with her brilliance, with her spiritual genius. Look to St. Therese, read the story of a soul, look and see her great wisdom. Tomorrow we will celebrate the feast of the guardian angels. We're reminded that God walks with us in all things and he sends his angels to guard us. As we wrap up this week, may God bless you and may the saints intercede for you.